all right guys how's it going welcome back to the channel it's friday and we're officially seven weeks out exactly from today from this point today we're gonna run, run into my vlog series real quick and i'll uh, give you a quick update on what's happening and where we're at uh hamstrings nah it's a lot better now man literally i mean honestly it's been since last week where we obviously had a that uh, problem happened to them. Working with Michelle, she's really stepped it up and we recovered this fast is absolutely awesome, man. And she's really stepped up and she checked in with me every single day to make sure that everything was going fine and how we are in training. So she's really helped out. And then we went posing yesterday, you know, how to look at it and, you know, everything is sublime and exactly how the way it was. I don't feel any pain in it whatsoever anymore. Still want to give it about a week before we start training, give another week before we start training directly. But for where it is right now, I'm really happy with the progress we're making on there and how well we're recovering. Uh, seven weeks out from the Arnold Classic, progress in nicely, you know. Right now, we're seeing that phase of prep where it just seems like everything's just moving smoothly, man. Body is responding easily and nicely and smoothly to everything, especially taking the fact that it was only a month, over a month ago since we were just last on prep. We had a rebound to come down and you know, we saw hoping that we didn't have a problem where the body wouldn't respond so much because we only did this no longer ago, but that's not the case. Body's still responding very, very well. We're not only putting on muscle, but we're actually getting back in shape as well. So, and holding on to that size and fullness and freshness real nicely, which is the most important one is how much, how fresh and how healthy we feel, even at this stage and everything. So I'm really excited, man. I'm really good with that because it's like, hell, at this point, everything is so well that it puts a smile on my face to see how we're progressing and I feel really good as well. So yes, yes, really happy with that. Today we're going to head out, I'm going to see Michelle today as well. So she's going to take another look at my hands and give me a little update on that. And yeah, man, we're going to, I'm going to take you guys through my day today and just kind of put you through what we're doing. Obviously had breakfast this morning. I think we already got that in. Uh, eggs, three eggs and uh, how much oats were? Eight. And 80 grams of oats. That's why it went down so fast. Yeah. It didn't go down fast. What do you mean? It went down. No. 100 to 80, only 20 grams. Yeah, but I say it went down me so fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's what we have. And then obviously we're making cuts in the rest of the meal. Sweet potato and steak and uh, rice and mince and uh, chicken and breast and rice and the rest of the meal today. We're cutting now with all five meals that we are this week. But the progress we made this week, really, I'm really happy with, man. I'm really kind of excited about it to see things coming together quite nicely. Yeah, we're in a good place. 35 minute cardio in the morning, fasted. That works out quite well as well. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Guys, we wanna get our day started and uh, yeah. Oh, big news. So, new one. We're officially one of the athletes signed and contracted to Celsius. Yes, yes, yes. We're officially a Celsius athlete and we're part of the team there. So yes, yes, guys, this one is, um, this one I'm proud to say, I'm proud about. Yeah. Officially. Okay, let me um, hold up the focus, please. All right. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, baby. So we are officially contracted with Celsius. So that also means that we will be at the Celsius booth for both Arnold, Class, Arnold Classic in Ohio and Arnold Classic here in the UK. So guys, when you come to Arnold watch the show, we're gonna be at the hostile booth and we're gonna be at the Celsius booth that weekend. So come say hello. I'm really proud to announce that, proud to be part of the team. And yeah, man, it's exciting times. Good things keep happening to us. And I really do think that is, you know, is mainly down to the mindset of, you know, believing and being cherished and being grateful for the things you have. Because when you cherish what you already have and how happy you are with what you, you've got, you just welcome the more better and happier things to happen to you. So, you know, uh, every moment I can be more grateful for the life I have and what we've been blessed with. So, maybe I'm you should apply that. this um, mindset towards your wife. Excuse me. Cherish, Excuse grateful. me. Cherish, grateful. So that you might have a better, even better outcome. Do you see? Do you see the life you live? Do you see the house you have? No, I'm talking about see? mindset. I do have the mindset. Cherish, I do cherish, grateful. grateful. I do cherish, grateful, yeah. and I'm happy with my wife very much, <laughs> as everybody can see. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, damn right. Give me none of that. And I do. I do all the housework every time you ask for it immediately. Immediately, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so guys, we're gonna get the game started. Got the boy here. Good what morning. you been up to? Good morning. You finally awake. 
Yeah, breakfast ready. Yeah. No. Not something. No. Interesting. Breakfast not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most. Oh, that dog boy. Anyway, we're gonna get the day started. We're gonna get going. I gotta try to go get a haircut this morning, so I'm getting out of the house. Mm. All right. So guys, let's get it going, man. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, time to get on. Yeah, my boys are sucker. Always hook me up, man. Love this place. Oh, yeah. Nice and cut. Oh, the sucker here in Chelmsford, man. I always come here to get my hair cut. And them guys always show me such love and they always hook me up. Nicely. Right. Let's get on with our day. Yeah, let's get to moving. So just get back home, getting my second meal of the day, back on time, just by 11.30. And we have steak and sweet potato. So we got 200 grams of steak and what was that, 300 grams of sweet potato. And obviously my web stay knee. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this down and I'm gonna take this boy right here for a walk. So, yeah, let's see. So about to um, get ready to head out, uh, I've got to drive up to uh, Michelle to have her do uh, her therapy, therapy session with me today. And then straight from there, we're going to head off to the gym and get our workout in today, which is an arm session. And obviously before we head out, obviously I'm going to be myself for about an hour and then straight from there, I'm going to the gym. So I'm going to take both meals with me, the ones I'm going to have. So basically you have here rice and lean mints. That's gonna be my next meal, which is gonna be in about half an hour. And then straight after that, we're gonna have, we have rice and chicken breast. Now with that is 100, uh, 180 gram of lean mince and a cup of half of rice. Here we got 250 grams of chicken breast and a cup of an, and a half of rice. So those are pre and post gym meals. And guys, I just wanna give you guys a tip, man. When it comes to you with like food and that, something you never see me do is, especially is, I seem to notice this with people well, now, especially in current bodybuilding times. When it comes to their dietary supplements, man, people tend to stay away from eating whole foods a lot, you know. They have these things where they do a lot of supplementation in their food, where they will have like, you know, protein pancakes and um, cream of rice mixed with protein, like these chocolate protein flavors and all that stuff. Now you notice my diet, I never at any point do anything like that. I don't use supplements as a meal source at all. I use them exactly like uh, supplements, you know. They're there to supplementation. The only time you ever see me having like protein shake or any form of protein is one scoop with my breakfast in the morning with my oats. And when that goes out is um, post-workout as a shake. I never eat them any point of the day. I never rely on that as a protein source any point of the day. I tend to rely solely on whole foods, real whole foods. You're fine real. with your quad training? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you train calves as well? Uh, yeah, calves. Yeah. I didn't feel anything. And it was, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only one I've thought mm -hmm. may have may have been a little no. bit irritable just because it's quite close to the insertion point. Yeah, um, no, calves will be fine. Good, um, okay. Did our quarter in this uh, week. 
Still just as heavy? So, so. Huh? Still just as heavy? Oh no, we didn't we didn't go like we didn't squat and then like there's a leg extension okay, and okay. basically it's like I didn't aggravate it. Yeah. So I was fine with that. But since then, yeah, the pain so because there's a lot less and less. Yeah. And your cardio? Cardio has been fine. In the mornings you mm. can stride well now as well. Yeah. I know yeah. obviously before yeah. it was a little bit niggly on the yeah. overstride. No, I'm not, not, not feeling it at all. Okay, good. Step in the right direction. Yes. I got better off than I thought it would be that all. How's that feel? That feels fine. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's just only there. I can just, just a little bit. Yeah, feel a little bit. Pain scale one to ten? Um well three. Three, okay, good. If I come down to here, does it go? No. no. Yeah, it's only there. Just that bit. Yeah. If I come further up here, does it stay or does it go? Um, how about there? That's a bit tight that's, there, isn't that's it? That's the maximum part there. How about there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. There? Mm-hmm. There? Uh, there's not, not so much. much. No. See, I can push a lot harder today because there's no inflammation there. Oh, right. It's much better. And I can, yeah. feel, I can feel it a lot more today as well, okay. which is good. Oh, we can see the little twitch there. <laughs> 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 Would you say that's still a three or is that a little bit more? Um, about four or five. Okay. It doesn't, I don't know, more about four. Yeah. Oh, the little twitch. <laughs> that's an involuntary... <laughs> involuntary spasm. <laughs> it's still the same bit. It's still that... Um, yeah. That rectus femoris. When you got the knee pain originally, whereabouts yeah. on the knee was um, it? Because it was basically twisting it, so it was an inner, you know, like inner, inner bit of the, like this bit. Knee. Yeah, and yeah. I know immediately it hurt at that same spot that you that it was there when I first ever had it. Yeah. But that took a long while before that finally healed up completely. Yeah, yeah. But then ever since I twisted, I never felt at the back; only felt it on the front. Yeah. Until obviously now, when the hamstring happened, was yeah. the first time I almost it was just the other day I come to see Lumina, it was almost the same pain as then. Yeah. Just was a little bit tighter there, that yeah. bit. And your posing pitch was fab, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It looks exactly yeah, the same. There's no yeah. differences on the left compared to the right, which was good. Yeah, there's no discomfort in the other side. Yeah. Flexing on my left either. So. And when you flex it, no pain. Yeah, no pain. At good. All. Okay. Perfect. Gives you the same sort of thing. All right, guys. So we're here at Evolve Fitness in Rayleigh, just off, just off South End. And uh, yeah, man, one of my local gyms. I say local, one of my favorite gyms. Been coming here for the last. They're coming here since I started bodybuilding, really. It was a different location, guys. Yeah. Huh? It used to be Titan's gym. It used to be Titan's gym just down the road, but we moved here. But I've been coming here since this is the first gym I ever came to when I decided to do bodybuilding. Way well, before that, even before when I first met Chris, and yeah, they've been always been a great sport and always been one of the places that I've always come through for bodybuilding. They've always supported me right from day one to this point when I worked full time and everything else. Well, yeah, I walked to this gym, man. Check it out. Come meet, come meet the people. A lot of history, a lot of history here, a lot of time, a lot of memories. We got our memorabilia wall. All the people that have come here to compete, the pictures all go up on this wall right here. Atmosphere is always second to none. They're always welcoming. Always. If you're ever in the area, man, you gotta come there. They always show support, always show love. And every time you come in here, first thing you see, right here. First you see, always. Chris, always behind. Behind the till, welcoming you always. Say hello to my man Chris. Hello. Always there, doing? always welcoming, regardless of who he is. Always give you a pleasant and fightful welcome. You might see Chris in my video. We always trade back every Mondays. Yeah. This Monday is no different. So Chris is always there showing love. First guy that I ever saw that was a bodybuilder I ever met <laughs> back in 2009. And I uh, walked in the gym, and that same nice welcome got me started in this sport. All them years ago. 
It was a long, long time. It's been one hell of a journey since. It hasn't has it? been one hell of a journey since. Yeah, all through yep. the amateur ranks and oh yeah, to the very, very top now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, been an yeah. incredible journey. You know, Chris is competing a lot himself, as you can see up here. He's done a lot. Last twenty, well, how many years? 25? Twenty five. Too, too many years to count. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris has done this yeah, for, for retired, quite some time, two man. Years ago, now retired. Oh man, yeah. yeah but Chris has always kind of passed on his knowledge to me through the years, and always helped me. I always. Always was the second eye and the, the first voice I listened to when it came to this sport. So, yeah, always, always showing love. Always got the, the boys, always supporting, always, look at this shit right here. Now, if you ever come to a gym and you wonder what a what a bo real bodybuilding gym looks like, yeah, come on, that right there is what a real bodybuilding gym looks like. Come on, good. Everybody here working. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Everybody here pushing. Ooh. Come on. Always good, pushing mate. Always supporting. Ooh. Good, come on. Let's go. Squeeze it in. Good. And again. Um, oh, man. Atmosphere in here is always second to nuts. Always. And the boys always there. They will always show you love. They will always welcome you out the door. They will always show you support. Anytime you're down here, never meet. Right? Cheers, mate. Always. Okay. So guys, we're going to get our workout done. Let's go. Hey! 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 Hey!
So, just got home from the gym, from Chris's, and the ending of our day today. And yeah, it is cold, at a cold point of this winter. And I'm sitting here comfortably in my uh, robe on, chilling with my buddy. And we're calling it an evening. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you want. He's waiting for his dinner. Mm, that's yeah. it, because it's uh, not the daily dinner. Uh-huh. Special dinner. It's mm -hmm. Friday night, so my mind's ready for a special dinner. Yes. But yeah, it's also got another snack there. Right, right. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, back in full day today, just kind of gone through with it. And uh, yeah, point of the video where we're chilling out and we're calling it a day. It's been nice, it's been chilling, we've gone through our whole thing. And yeah, so guys, uh, thank you guys for following us today. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. We're going to catch you next week, man. Until then, see you in next week's vlog. So, take it easy. Have a good week. Well, have a good weekend. Happy Friday to y'all. See y'all next time. I'm not going to edit it tonight. Look, I'm going to say happy Friday. It might be next week Friday. It might be the Friday after that. Whenever you watch this, whatever Friday you are, have a good weekend. <laughs> if you watch it on a Monday, have a good... If you're watching it on a Monday, have a good following weekend. If you're watching it on a Tuesday, whatever, have a good weekend that's coming up. Your next weekend, whatever weekend is coming to you, have a good one. And uh, we catch you guys next week, man. Till then, take it easy from here, from us. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all next time. Peace. In that rap, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.